Neve, and this is Debating Reality. I'm here with Chase, and on each episode we'll be talking about a different topic and talking about the facts or fiction of each theory around it. And today's topic is the Flat Air Theory. Chase, what is the Flat Air Theory? Well, you know, I mean, pretty much there's a flat earth society that has been building up over the past couple of years of people who actually adhere to the original theory that the earth was flat. I mean, um, the earth being flat was a theory that has been going on for ages since the beginning. It only has only started to dwindle down come like 17th, 18th century. But I mean, like constantly people just thought the earth was flat. They just looked over the horizon and just assumed that you can't go but too far. And um, <clears throat> that has been the constant theory that has been around. And only since they decided to create these globes that they changed the theory into that we're on a globe or a sphere um, um, planet. So that's, that's only about 300 years old. Okay, well, thank you for that. Um, on today's show, Chase is on the pro flat earth theory, and I am on the cons of the flat air theory. So, Chase, what's your argument for the Earth being flat? Well, as I already has just stated, it's like, um, my, it's not my theory. I mean, the flat earth theory is basically uh, based upon the fact that we're on a plane that is a constant straight plane uh, um, of this, well, we'll call it a planet just because that's what we all know Earth to be as. But um, it's actually under a dome and it's on a flat plane and that is why we see the horizon that is why when ships go into the distance they don't actually go down that's why you're never actually seeing an incline uh of being on a round earth you know you never actually lived upside down like if you're in australia you know and you know that's that's pretty much uh, a, a lot to do with it i mean pretty everybody usually says why it's not um a flat, so it's easier to debate against that. So why is it not flat, Neve? Well, my first argument, and possibly like the biggest flaw in your concept, is gravity. <laughs> gravity. I know you're laughing at me, because you think an apple just fell on Isaac Newton's head and you I just do. went, oh, look at that. That's right. But clearly there is something, there is a force holding us all down as to how things can drop mm -hmm. and in space there is no gravity mm -hmm. as it has been mm -hmm. proven by science. Well, I mean, Neil deGrasse Tyson, who is one of our present philosophers, who I believe wholeheartedly, actually, uh, when he, he laughs at the word gravity, because it is pretty much just a word, um, if we were on a flat plane, then there is no what's holding us down. Then, then there is no we're going to fall off. That's all based upon if we were on a spinning sphere that was spinning constantly, which is what we were told by the word science, is that we are on a spinning ball and gravity is what keeps us adhered to the um, ground. But if we were on a flat plane, then there's nothing to worry about falling off, flying off, or, you know, staying but, adhered to it. Well, there'd still need to be gravity on a flat plane, obviously. Why? If, well, if we're on a flat plane... And I'm walking, and uh -huh. I accidentally drop my drink. Something and it will fall. I, I thought, yeah, but what what force are you saying is there to pull it down? Well, I could I fall. could go into all about the fundamental forces that we all learned in school and the word science. But actually, like I just said, if you're on a flat plane and you're walking along and you dropped your drink, your drink will drop. I mean, there's no force involved in that. Yes, there is. Clearly, something needs to be. Pulling that down. Why did they have to pull it down? <laughs> it drops. You know what I mean? Like there has to be some sort of force on it, otherwise it just floats. Well, it has to be because you were told that in school that everything has an equal and an opposite reaction. That you were told the theory of relativity. You were told that um, you know everything has uh, a mass and um, whatever. You know that's what you were told, but that doesn't mean it's true. Okay. Mm -hmm. But what about the moon? Okay, what about the moon, that, like, uh, thing up there? Yeah, the, the piece of cheese that everyone thought I never called it the cheese, and I never said there's a man on it. <laughs> oh, that's a, whole, that's a whole different story. Yeah, that is we'll, a whole different story. We'll come to that in a later date. Okay. But Aristotle has said that during a lunar eclipse, mm -hmm. the shadow on the moon 
surface is round and that shadows Earth, which is a, it's a massive piece of information to put towards the fact that the Earth is a spherical shape? No, it's not. Um, because <laughs> even in your NASA pictures of the moon, we only see the flat plane of it. Um, we see what NASA wants you to see as far as this kind of like white, you know, dusty beach and black sky with no stars. Um, the main thing about it is, is that the moon is an object that's in the sky. It is an object that rotates around like as if we were a vinyl record player. It rotates around the earth the same way that the sun does. But that doesn't mean, um, you know, it's, it's round. I see a round moon up in the sky. I can believe that. Okay. Well, I'm going to just put to you this. This is a piece mm -hmm. of information that I was given to support my argument. Mm -hmm. And it's the shadows and sticks concept. Ah, if you nice st one. Well, if you stick a stick in the stick ground. Stick a stick. Yeah, if you stick a stick in the ground, it will produce a shadow. Because everything produces a shadow when a light is cast on it. Yeah, that is indeed true. So, uh, the shadow moves as time passes if we're using such a light such as the sun, which does rotate it. Okay. Uh, which the earth does rotate around. So, if the world had been flat, then two sticks in different locations would produce the same shadow. Okay, so let but me ask they you... they don't, <coughs> because me, the earth is round. Let me ask you this question. Have you ever seen a sundial? I have seen a sundial, yes. And is a sundial flat? A uh, sundial is not flat. Is flat, yes. And does it produce a shadow? Well, yeah. Well, there you go. But I'm not... That, <laughs> that's the thing, though. No. Right. Do you, want, do you know what else is on a sundial? Uh, what? A stick. A little needle-like object that sticks up from the center of a sundial, which gives the illusion of a shadow, or, we you know, the second hand of a clock, yep. going round the time. The sundial is here, and the stick goes like that. That it does. That's right. what the light is casting on, yeah, and the shadow true. is going on the f on the sundial base, just like the stick is in the ground and the shadow is going on the ground, but which is the base. That is Therefore, true. Therefore, I have just proven that little point that you've made wrong. No, you didn't, because yes, I did. the sundial is still flat, the, the stick is still is... standing up, yeah. and the sun is still going around in a circle. Yeah. That's what I said. It's like a vinyl, and um, you didn't prove anything. Yes, I it did. has nothing to do with it being round or a sphere. <laughs> it has nothing to do with the fact that it went around this flat sundial. No. Like the earth. <laughs> the sundial is still put onto a... Any other, it, any other <laughs> points you want to make? Because that was okay. just stupid. Okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you know, usually somebody's counting down like that. <laughs> Yeah, usually we have um, someone counting down to see how long we've got left. Yeah. But this little debate. <laughs> so. Oh, look at that. Wait, wait, wait. You just went by a picture, and guess what that is? You just went by a picture of where it's supposed to be showing that it's a sphere of the sun going around. But guess what? Okay. It's okay. a flat. Hang on. It's a flat. Hang it's on. a flat. Hang on. A flat circle. Flat. Right. Since a s quoting this, by the way, since a sphere mm. has a constant. Uh, consistent shape mm -hmm. no matter where on it you stand you have exactly the same amount of sphere under you mm -hmm. and then imagine an ant walking around on a crystal ball assuming the crystal ball is polished the ant's only indication of movement will be the fact it's moving its feet the scenery would not right. change at all well yeah so let me uh, let me ask you this one right because usually the common debate is the uh, circumference of uh, the earth like when you're like in the sky right yeah so like the point is a lot of people always point out the circumference of you know the plane right um now what they never realize is, is that even though we in the flat earth society usually say that the earth is flat we also say it's under a dome so that dome has a curvature right which is what the curvature that they see when they're in the sky because as they go higher and higher they see that curvature. So what it is, is is that if you act like you were in a fishbowl, for example, like a fish, right, you would just see the water. But if you were a human in the fishbowl, you would see the curvature. There you okay. go. Well, um, I want to pitch this out to the, our little audience oh, that we've gathered. Do. So, um, hello? Can you give us your 
statement on whether you think the Earth is a sphere or a flat plane. Also, state your name. <laughs> Hi, this is Nigel calling in, and I think that the Earth is a sphere. Okay. Yes, Nigel! <laughs> Do you now? Why is that, Nigel? Because if you go to a different part of the Earth, like if you go to Australia, and you look up at the moon, the moon is upside down. Is it? Yes. How do you know? Compared to how, because I've been there, I've seen it. It's upside down. How do you know it's upside down though? It's in the round sphere. The way we look at it on our side of the Earth, like in the northern hemisphere, it's uh, it, it you see like the face of like, the man it's, in the it's, moon. It's but when a you round go to, moon, right? Yeah, but when you go to the other well, side well, of the well, Earth, on, it's Nigel. upside hold down. On, hold hey, on, Nigel. Hold don't on. Be rude. Don't be rude. I'm not being rude. Let him finish. Let him finish his statement. He just said he'd been to Australia. And I'm just trying I, to say I'm not debating him being in Australia. I'm just saying is is the moon round? Well, he has witnessed it. First hand, and okay. what he's saying is he's saying the perspective that we have on, like in England, when we see the moon, we see. What is? Here's a round uh, thing, right? That's also flat on one side. So no, it's no, no, no. Wait, wait. This is round. We all agree, right? How do you know that this is upside down? You don't, cause it's round. Because, Next caller. Okay. No. <laughs> if we, hang on. Pass me. Pass me your little round sphere thing. Okay. If I put a little mark, so okay, we'll use this little empty bit here. Empty if I bit. turn it like that, you can see that the empty bit is on the bottom. Therefore, it's upside down. And you can tell, just like the moon, it is not a perfectly polished grey ball. I know. It's not a perfectly polished grey ball. It is this thing that has a lot of crater holes. It has tons of misshapen parts of it. So, therefore, if we saw one specific speck of it in England... And we, we could see that on the moon. Mm. And then we went to Australia, like Nigel says. We will probably see that different speck in a different, the opposite position it would be in England. I just don't know how he understands if it's a speck that it's in an opposite position like you just described. So anyway. <laughs> I think we're going to have to wrap it up there. Before. <laughs> Thank you, Nigel, for your call. But I think we're going to have to wrap it up there because it's getting a little too intense right now. Well, you know what? I'd just like to say thanks for having me on here. Thanks uh, for the, coming. It's know, been I always love to debate the reality of things. But actually, I would like to say is that this is also just for fun. You know, um, the, the whole Flat Earth Society, the, the people that try their best to debunk it. And people also say, hey, look, man, you know, this is the way it is because it's always been that way. And yeah. I just wanted to just say is until I've actually been to Venus or Uranus, um, I can't tell you which one is different. Okay, well thank you for your closing statements. <laughs> and I would also just like to add on that this these debates are merely just fun and to get a bit of a conversation started. And it was fun though, wasn't it? It was fun. Because we don't want to, we're not doing any of this to insult anyone. I'm not insulting anyone that believes in the flat earth theory. I'm just saying I have a lot of arguments to prove my side of it being a sphere. You have a lot of arguments to prove that it's a flat, flat plane. Flat plane. So. And could I just say that Neil deGrasse Tyson says it's a sphere, but he says it's more of an oblong shape, like a more pear. like an overly so shape. like I yeah. mean in that aspect is is that the main thing here is is that it doesn't have to be what you've always been told it was. There's never it's never black or white. There's always going to be a gray area, and that's yeah, what we tend I'm to. Even I'm black explore. and you're white. <laughs> 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 okay, we're definitely going to end it there, so thank you for watching Debating Reality. I've had Chase with me being a lovely uh, competitor with me. Thank you very me. much, Neve. I've been Neve, and thank you. We'll see you again soon, and remember, the truth is out there. And don't remember, you're listening to Colors, City of oh, Liverpool, online, online radio, radio station. Online radio station, where we stream live for, on the community, for the community. I thought it was from the community, for the community. But <laughs> from, I, just, uh, <laughs> I said that. Oh, did you? I yeah. thought you said, um... Um, uh, I, 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 <laughs> uh, 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 cue the credits. Bye. <laughs> <laughs>